Mr. Salvador? He's like a teenager. <laughs> He's creative. He's really funny. Nice, patient, and very, very friendly. Smart, nice. I'm almost about to tear up. Caring and passionate about his work. He understands what we're trying to do. My name is Salvador Jimenez Flores, and my project is Resilient Current, and I'm uh, one of the artists in residence with the city of Boston. We're working on creating a mural as a gift to the school that this fifth grade class will leave behind as a legacy. So they've all made their own individual prints, which are going to be mounted onto a fan shape. Working with this age group, they're interested in learning and they're ready to jump in and try new things. Uh, we started uh, with a few weeks of just uh, sketching out ideas, trying to capture the different things that they're interested in. And then from the drawing process, we turn into an introduction to printmaking. My print was kind of like a yin and yang, except with a bunch of nature designs inside of it. In my background, I put hearts, my teacher's name, and our both our names, BFFs, and I put a crown too, and an emoji. I don't really know what I made. I guess it represents my adventures in the school. It resembles a fidget spinner, but it's not a fidget spinner. <laughs> Please do not call it a fidget spinner. <laughs> you know, you couldn't stop them from printing. They were just wanted to keep on going or rolling the ink. You know, that's something they, they really got into. We we're um, printing and then we we're like carving and we're just like making our final copies and stuff. We're like gonna paste them on here and hang them up in the library. When you have somebody who's a professional artist come into the school, I think it allows the students to have that, wow, this is really cool. Art is a necessary component of any good education in order to make someone well-rounded. And unfortunately, that's the part that always seems to get shortchanged. My kids didn't actually have art this semester or last semester, so it's good that Salvador is in here. I like the project because you get to like make creative things. You usually don't get to do things like this like ever. So it's it's just really cool to have an experience like this. With having a lot of schools that don't have art programs, it's kind of crucial to introduce a little bit of art somehow. Affordable housing is, is always an issue in Boston, and you see it more and more with the gentrification of this neighborhood. A lot of kids can no longer afford to live in Chinatown, and that really is unfortunate because for kids to not be able to grow up with that support from a school where more than half the staff is Chinese, where the principal is Chinese, and to think that that's being taken away because of gentrification is very unfortunate. Like a lot of the students here are immigrants or descendants of immigrants. We ended up using that as a springboard to use this as, as a mural that is more about unity. Hey, hey guys! So today we're going to be doing um, putting our stuff on the board. We're helping each other like this. For example, if one of the students doesn't know how to print, then we can help them. All together we were choosing the picture we should do, getting to know each other, helping each other what color we should do and stuff like that. It's like bonding with our class. This mural will be permanent in the school, but it's gonna 
be for everyone in the school to enjoy and, and future generations of students to see. So we're kind of leaving our mark at the school. We get to draw all types of artwork and reflect about it and see what it means for us. He's able to explain things to them in a way that they just find really interesting. And also, it's bringing out their creativity. It was really hard to come up with a single idea, but he came around and helped us out. Here, we're going to present a resilient curve. I think, uh, as you can see, the main message for, for this mural it is that uh, we are all welcome here, and we really want to try to create this sense of belonging. So thank you for participating. We were so afraid of, you know, if we're afraid to fail or for things not to work out. And I think it's, uh, it's important to not only say like, oh, take risk, but also put it in practice, you know.